Hello, welcome to another edition of the National Portrait Gallery's program, Introducing, where we share stories of the people who have helped shape this country. My name is Anya Montiel, and I'm a curator at the Smithsonian. Actually, I work for two museums, the National Museum of the American Indian and the Smithsonian American Art Museum. It is my pleasure to work with my friends at the National Portrait Gallery. This week, I would like to introduce all of you to this photograph of Vincent Price, and our vocabulary word is shadow. At the end of this program, you'll be very familiar with Vincent Price and the use of shadow in photographs. From the gallery's database, we know that the photographer was Bob Willoughby, an American photographer known for taking pictures of famous movie stars. Actually, Bob and his wife Dorothy gave this photograph to the gallery and it was taken in 1958 in Beverly Hills, California. From what I just told you about the photos by Bob Willoughby, what do you think Vincent Price did for a living? What was his career, his job? If you guessed movie star, you are correct. Vincent Price was an actor and he acted in many movies beginning in 1938 and up to his passing in 1993. He has over 200 acting credits. If you remember that I said that this photo was taken in 1958 and that his first movie was in 1938, that means that he had been acting in movies for 20 years at the time of this image. Let's look closely at the photo. What do we see? Well, Vincent Price is sitting down on what looks to be a couch. But what else can we see around Vincent Price? Well, there is a table with a lamp behind his head. I also notice a plant and a large window. So is this an indoor or an outdoor photograph? I think we can presume that this photo was taken indoors, but there is so much light. The light is coming in from the window. Maybe it was daytime when the photo was taken and that sunlight coming through the window. Also, you can see that some parts of the photo are light and others dark. Vincent Price is being lit from behind his head by the light in the window, what is called backlighting, or lighting an image from the behind, not the front of the image. Some effects of this technique are creating a glow around the figure, in this case, Vincent Price, and creating dark areas like a shadow in other parts. What is a shadow? A shadow is a dark area or a shape produced by something. Let's say an object coming between the light and the surface. The light therefore is being blocked by Vincent Price's body, which is producing a shadow in front of the photograph. Why do you think Bob Willoughby did this? What is the mood or the feeling created by this technique? The shadow makes this daylight photo seem dark. I would say that it makes Vincent Price look mysterious and even spooky. Vincent Price was known for starring in mystery and horror movies, such as the one behind me, House of Wax from 1953. So that means that House of Wax was made before this photo. People who saw this photograph would already know that Vincent Price had been in horror movies like House of Wax. The photograph is then telling us a story. Bob Willoughby is using the shadow to tell us something about Vincent Price or giving us a hint about some of his movie roles. There is something else in this photo that gives us a clue about Vincent Price. Can you see the figure on the table? That is a piece of art. It is probably ceramic or made of clay and depicts a human figure who is seated. Although it is difficult to tell from this photo, it is probably a very old work, hundreds or maybe even thousands of years old, and was probably made by an indigenous artist from the area that is now known as Mexico. Vincent Price was an art collector. Over his lifetime, he bought many pieces of art from all over the world, and many different types, such as paintings and other ceramic items, and items made from wood, and also prints. He even wrote a book about his art collection and his love of art. This book 
is from 1959, written by Vincent Price. So this was right after this photo. There is even an artwork that looks like the one in the photo, but slightly different. There are museums in the United States that Vincent Price gifted some of his art to, such as the National Museum of the American Indian, where I work, which has one piece. Also, there is a museum in California called the Vincent Price Art Museum because Vincent and his wife, Mary Grant Price, gave 90 works of art from their own collection to a university in 1957. The collection helped grow what we now know as the Vincent Price Art Museum in Los Angeles. So again, this photo was taken a year after they gave those 90 pieces of art, and that artwork in the photo provides a clue about Vincent Price's life and his love of art. You might wonder, why do I know all this information? Vincent Price is someone that I've studied for my own research. I've gone to universities and museums researching Vincent Price. We happen to go to the same university, Yale University, which has some of his letters and other papers. Also, his son was nice enough to meet with me so I could ask him more about his dad. For my research, I look at the years that Vincent Price was a commissioner and then chairperson of the Indian Arts and Crafts Board, a government agency dedicated to Native American art and artists. Price was part of that group for 14 years, and he did some important things during that time. Price had studied art while he was in school, and it was something that he continued to study throughout his life. He enjoyed me going to museums, like I hope you do too. This is a photo of Vincent Price from his time on the Indian Arts and Crafts Board. But this photo isn't in the gallery's collection, so we can't talk about that right now. Vincent Price also enjoyed cooking with his wife, Mary, and they wrote cookbooks, such as this big one. This book contains a photo of Vincent Price's house in Beverly Hills. And we can see a couch, a table, a lamp, a plant, and that large window. So I think we actually found where Bob Willoughby took the photo of Vincent Price. It was inside Price's house in Beverly Hills. And something that this photograph can't tell us about Vincent Price is that he had an amazing voice. His voice was so unique and different that people would ask him to use his voice for animated movies, storytelling, commercials, and even a popular music song, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Today, we learned a lot about this photograph from looking at it closely and also doing a little bit of research. We learned about the photographer, Bob Willoughby, and his use of shadow in this image. We also found out about the person in the photo, Vincent Price, and his movie career and his love of art. This photo tells a story, and it is, it is one story out of thousands that you'll find at the National Portrait Gallery. Thank you for listening, and my friends and I at the Smithsonian can't wait to see you again.